Hello race fans and welcome to the PRWC DC Shoes World Championship. Uh, don't know what we're watching on this guy, but we should be watching on pole sitter, Seth Cole. Uh, he's going to sit on the pole for today's race. Um, I'll just get it bigger so you can see it better. Matt Wells. Then, um, Tony Blazer, the new driver of the 19 after, um, Killian was suspended indefinitely due to off-track actions. Uh, then, uh, outside of him is Dylan Young, Ryan Cooper, John Castle, Thomas Perkikiewicz, and Randy Carpenter will round out, I believe will round out. Now uh, that's top eight. Then we got... Dylan Poteet and Darian Sykes. Those are the guys that will round out your field. Now you look over here and you will see who is fastest in happy hour. I just skipped practice. Sean Galligan and Christopher Martin were the fastest. But they do have a decent amount of ground to make up. Uh, Deion Scott was third fastest. He is on the last row. Uh, he's actually starting last. Uh, Chris Martin, second fastest. He's got about mid-pack start of oh, he's actually in 14th. And then Sean Galligan, he will start 32nd. So let's get these guys going. Sorry that the clicking is going to be super loud. I don't know where the other mouse is. Um, with the unexpected event that suspended Killian, um, Tony Blazer is awarded or since it's an uh, indefinite suspension from all my series um, Tony Blazer right there starting third will be given um, Killian's win in the Daytona 500 so I mean Killian's still gonna be like you know the Daytona 500 winner But the points and the win will stay with the car. There wasn't... Alright, they're bunching up. Green flag is out. We're just going to go to the back of the field and just wait for any calamity which we know will come. Oh, and there it is already. Big trouble in turn number one. Oh, Sean Gallagher is taken out, so is Dion Scott, uh, Siyoshi Udoku, and, um, that's 71 car. Um, still says Michael Harwood, but he wanted to be released from the series, because he doesn't like YouTube anymore. I don't know why. So, um, let's take a look at what brought out this caution. Actually, first we gotta figure out who's leading. Still Seth Cole. So let's take a look at what brought out this caution. Alright, so I believe this is where it's gonna be. Um, right around here with Aaron Williams and Jake Bell. Matthew McMurray is going to get into Jake Bell. And uh, there's Sean Johnson with nowhere to go. Uh, Yoshi's going to hit the wall. Uh, a couple other people just pile in. I believe Red Bell got through that, though. Maybe a little scrape. Let's look at this from a f uh, legit angle.
a lot of cars. You know, I forgot about how much of a reference this was, but I also remember that we did go green to the finish in the first time we visited here. So let's take it to the restart. Sorry about that, guys, but a crash on the first lap takes out Violet Fox and Sean Johnson. Uh, Dion Scott is a lap down. I don't know that he will be able to continue. Yes, he will, because he is right there. No idea what the hell he just did. Maybe he was trying to be super sneaky and steal his lap back, but it's not going to work because... Well, everybody else is coming up on him. No problem so far. But this number 30. Matt Wells is now your leader. With Ryan Cooper in second. Dylan Pote won the first time we came here. Scott is holding... Miss Brown, for the most part. And these guys slide through the corners quite a bit. There's a bit of a gaggle. Almost three wide there. Seth Cole is losing more positions. I lost one to Liam Erbig, De uh, Dion Petty, and just lost one to Matthew McMurray, and they were four wide. Oh, and we got a problem. Seth Cole, Danny Wells, Tiffany Crawford, John Castle, oh, and many, many others. Lots of cars. A lot of cars involved in this one. Red Bell, John Castle. Aaron Williams got another one, and Heather Crawford. Sean Galligan is involved in another. And here's the leaders trying to weave their way through all these other, you know, cars. So let's take a look at what brings out caution number two. Alright, now before we do that, uh, there's a puff of smoke there that I don't know where it came from, so we will watch on nobody. Just to uh, try to find it. No. Oh, Red Bell and Jordan Schumacher get together. What? Alright, now for the car. Alright, so what you are going to see here is uh, these three cars get together. Seth Cole just was losing a bunch of spots after starting on the pole. There's John Castle getting a piece. Almost gets Ricky Hawk, but instead collects Heather Crawford. Many others will be involved in this part of it. Then here's another bit of it. So we will watch this in real time. Sorry about that, the last hole came in here. 
So, real time. Aaron Williams gets involved in another. Jordan Schumacher seems to have gotten away with minimal damage, but after hitting Red, or after getting hit by Red Bell, we'll just uh, watch up on here real quick. I don't believe there's any hard contact. Um, bump. Just a couple bumps. But I don't know, after getting hit by Red Bell, maybe, uh, screwed up his car a lot more than we think. A couple lap down cars, um, a lot of people, lots of cars taken out in that accident. We got John Castle, Tiffany Crawford, Heather Crawford, kind of sucks for both of them. Uh, uh, Joshua Perry, um, 71 cards open right now. I'm just saying. Uh, Siyoshi Doku, Danny Wells, Seth Cole, um, Jake Bell, and Jack Rasmussen. So as the field bunches up, one more time. Dylan Poteet is in third place. He won this race in the first half of the season. Oh, and we got more problems. Randy Carpenter and Christopher Martin. Here's going to be another problem right back here. We got one up in the wall. I believe that was Ryan Richards. We're going to have even more. Oh, there it is. Ricky Hawk and Robert Young. Uh, Robert and Dylan Young. Both of them go hard into the wall. Does the caution come out? Looks to me like we are still green, but not for long with all of everything going on. We'll just have to see if they do get off the gas any bit. No, not at all. So we stay green. After lots of contact. Let's try to find who your front runners are. We're going to have to go through and survey that. Matt Wells is still your leader. Second place is Ryan Cooper and then Dylan Poteet. But they are being held up by the 30 car of Dion Scott. Let's um, actually rewind it just a little bit. Oh, Scott's letting them go. And we'll take a look at this contact between Randy Carpenter and um, Christopher Martin. Alright, so what's going to happen here is they're going to come out of turn number two. A little bit of contact, a little bit more. I wonder if there maybe isn't some bad blood between these two. Then you hear, well, I heard scraping, I got headphones in. And it was Ryan Richards who hit the wall, but why? Oh. He hit that wall a ton. That's right, so. Then Robert Young and. And there's all of that. But we are still green, and Ryan Cooper is catching Matt Wells. Not far behind him is Dylan Poteet. I don't know if I'm supposed to say, like, Petit or Poteet, but Poteet sounds good. <laughs> Alright, I'm just kind of surveying through the field. We'll 
run a through the field type deal. A lot of cars out though. We only have 26 cars on the lead lap. Matt Wells seems to have the starting positions of these races figured out, but can never seem to get that elusive win in the PORWC DC Shoes World Championship. I know he really wants to, and uh, hasn't quite happened yet. Second place, we have Ryan Cooper. Um, he won it at... I gotta think where he won. I'm stupid. <laughs> uh, I think he won Pocono. Yes, he did win Pocono. So, um, he's hoping to get a second win, which will lock him into the chase. Uh, Dylan Pote running third. I gotta get through this quickly because there may be a pass for the lead. Dylan Pote, you see back there in the third position, won the shootout and also won the Atlanta race last time. Maybe can Dylan Pote get the sweep with less than 10 laps to go? Only a couple tenths separate these guys up front. I'm just going to keep my eye over here. Well, Matt Wells seems to have slowed up. Matt Wells pushing down Ryan Cooper. They're going to slide up. Can maybe Dylan Poteet get down below Matt Wells? It doesn't look like it. Ryan Cooper won last time around at Pocono. He's looking to make it two in a row. <clears throat> Matt Wells, he got a real slow uh, last time around. Can maybe Matt Wells go down below Ryan Cooper again? This is just heating up. He's got the nose. Yes, he does. And Dylan Poteet is going to pass Ryan Cooper. Six laps to go, and there's all this going on. Matt Wells is your leader. Ryan Cooper went from first to third, and Dylan Poteet is right where he wants to be. In second place, hunting down the leader, Matt Wells. Just remember, five to go. Should the caution come out, the race will be over, and Matt is slow again in the corner. Matt Wells really wants to get that win. And Dylan Poteet really wants it too. Poteet, down low. Is he going to do it? No, not this time. Now Ryan Cooper is right up on Poteet's bumper. Four laps to go. Matt Wells has not had the storybook season that he wanted, but with this win, could put him into chase contention. Dylan Pote with this, he doesn't even need this win, but he's going for it. Side by side down the back stretch. Three laps left. Matt Wells is going to try to make that high lane work, and Ryan Cooper is right back up there. Side by side, coming to the start finish line, it's going to be Dylan Poteet by about half a car length. And now Ryan Cooper gets past Matt Wells. Two laps to go. It's going to be a battle between Ryan Cooper and Dylan Poteet. Matt Wells seems to have lost a lot of ground. Don't know that he'll be able to make it up as side by side. Uh, no, Dylan Poteet gets the run off the corner. But Ryan Cooper stays there. Poteet is slow. Matt Wells makes a pass on Poteet. And now maybe is Matt Wells going to try to make the pass on Ryan Cooper? He's got the nose. Sorry, my voice just cracked. But this is exciting. 
side by side out of turn number four. Who's it gonna be? To the line! Ugh! Matt Wells! Wow, what a finish! Matt Wells is gonna win. Ryan Cooper is second by an inch. I mean, wow. Dylan Pote will finish third, rounding off the podium. Ryan Cooper was inches away from winning two in a row. Let's get another look at that finish. Dylan Pote just got a little bit high, a little bit loose, had to get off the gas, and that ultimately lost him the lead. Now down the back stretch, they go side by side. And right right here, I thought it was over. But Cooper knows how to use that side draft. And as they come to the line... Wow! What a finish by a nose. Just uh, another... <clears throat> Sorry, my voice was cracking that whole time. We'll go frame by frame. Just by a nose. Oh, dead. Checkered flag will wave right there. And now you will see them come into the... Come around here somewhere. That is them. And here's the rest of everybody coming by. guess we can watch this in slow-mo. That has got to be maybe the closest finish. I don't know the official margin of victory. Uh, it's looking to be about a hundredth of a second. If that finish line was maybe where that T is right behind the scoring monitor, I think that would have been Cooper's race. But it wasn't, not this time around. That, this just goes to show how competitive these guys really are. Official margin of victory, seven one-thousandths of a second. Get a look at where you finished. Matt Wells is now put into chase contention with this win. Let me just put that in my trusty little notepad thing. Unbelievable. You know, two races that I've, you know, recorded over the past few days. And, um. Yeah. This is just amazing. So, uh. Your official, or your official finishing results. Matt Wells, Ryan Cooper, Dylan Pote, Randy Carpenter, Christopher Martin. I was going to look into that uh, Martin Carpenter thing, but they did race side by side. Very clean, a few more laps, so it was looking to be just a racing deal. So, yeah. Uh, so, Christopher Martin, Dion Petty, Matthew McMurray, Trent Dunham, Charles Jackson, Thomas McKickiewick will round out your top ten. Three car of Liam Erbig will finish 11th, and then 31 X side car, just, that's just because it's a new scheme, um, of Jake Baskinger, Levi Shones, Brandon Bain, Tony Blazer, nah, not bad for his debut, um, sorry about that, um, 
I, uh, Zohar Monet, Darian Sykes, Hannah Smith, Ryan Richards, and Ricky Hawk is your top 20. Um, we've had enough time to look at these guys, so let's scroll down. See, all these guys were taken out from an accident. It's kind of heartbreaking for Dylan and Robert Young. They got together after contact with Ricky Hawk. And that kind of screwed their days over. But you can see where you finished. So, the drivers in the chase, or not in it, but contention, Tony Blazer, Dylan Poteet, Christopher Martin, Trent Dunham, Sean Galligan, Charles Jackson, Randy Carpenter, that is what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve contenders. Liam Erbig, Aaron Williams, Matt Wells, and Ryan Cooper, and Violet Fox. Um, if you want to race, I think I'm forgetting one. Um, right, um, this is race 13 then. I'm not, I have no clue. I gotta go check that. But once I do, um,. I don't even know. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I am really excited about that finish. Let's just take one last look at it. Super duper slow mo. And there was your top three come across the line. Congratulations to Matt Wells for winning in, I think, the closest finish in the World Championship history. Um, like, comment, rate, subscribe, and um, thank you so much for tuning in.